Right, what we're looking at today is laughter is best form of medicine. So we're looking at the use of comedy and dance. Um, I've got three groups and they've all taken to it in a different way. We've got um, one group are doing like a, a parody really of Cheeky Girls uh, with a bit of a confrontation between two of the dancers part way through. Um, another group is doing single ladies as if it's an audition with three male dancers in drag. And my final group are basing it at Year 11 Prom with a character called Hugo the Head who is the boyfriend of one of the dancers um, and he features quite heavily. In fact, I think they actually bowl his head at one point and they sit the head with the audience and ask them to not flirt with him and uh, he's the designated driver so has to drive them home at the end of the night, but he has no body. So they, they all seem to have taken to it quite well, actually. I think they've worked really well with each other and they've organised themselves with costume and dance ideas. There's a couple of really shy people in the group who have found it more difficult to get into it, but I think they're just starting to open up now part way through the day. Really, it's about students learning in a different way, I suppose. I think with dance, students are used to coming in here and basically copying techniques and skills that I give them and then applying it, rather than coming in and having free reign to basically do what they want. Um, and to also combine some of their drama skills with their dance skills um, for comedy purposes. What we're doing is at one o'clock, we're having a variety show up in the drama studio and the drama, dance and music students are performing to each other as if they're at a cabaret event and they're going to become the audience sat round tables with flowers in vases and it, it should be quite a nice atmosphere.